I didn't do my homework. What makes it even worse is I was even convinced. I convinced myself that I had done at least part of my homework. And I told Miss Bailey I had done part of my homework because I was that convinced that I'd done it. I didn't do my homework. I think I dreamed that I did my homework, but I didn't do my homework. So I had the book here. And actually, let me back up a little bit. I told Miss Bailey that I had sent a video committing to reading the rest of the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. I told her that I had done it because I thought that I had. I went to all the places I would have put it. It's not in any of those places. And the only real answer of it not being there is that I didn't do it. So, first of all, I don't think I recorded the video. Second, I had the book. I carried it with me all weekend long. I was here with the book fair, and my plan was that while the book fair was going on, I was going to read. I didn't. And then I was going to take it home and read afterwards. And there were times that I was sitting there wanting to read a book, and I didn't have the book with me. So... I didn't have the book with me over the weekend either. So this morning came and I realized that I hadn't done my homework. And now I have to make a video admitting that not only did I not do my homework, but I also didn't do the video committing to the homework that I thought that I had committed to do. And it's really hard to do. <laughs> it is hard to admit when you haven't done something, but I didn't do it. So. I am going to commit to doing that next weekend. I would like to commit to doing it during the week, but the week is really busy. There's no guarantee that I'm going to actually have time to do it. So I'm not going to commit to doing anything over the week. I will do another video committing to doing it over the weekend, and I'll do that Friday so that you guys have it. Um, I really am. I'm like, I'm interested in finishing this book. I don't know how much I've told you about it, but it's a prequel to The Hunger Games. And you're following... President Snow before he becomes President Snow. So it's kind of giving you the evolution into how he became the person that he was in the Hunger Games movies. I think I said this before, but since I'm doubting myself today, I'm going to go ahead and tell you again. I don't think that this book is a good book for students in elementary school to read. It's just a little bit too much. I mean, the Hunger Games in and of themselves, that's pretty rough material for, for elementary school students. So I don't recommend that you read it. When you get older, it probably would be a good book for you to take a look at. But either way, I'm interested in finishing it. I'm not done with it. I will finish with it. And I'll let you know when that's done. So, sorry guys, I didn't do my homework. I'll do better this weekend. I hope you have a great week. And uh, I'll be talking to you again soon.